Okay, so in this last video of the three videos that I've done to program this patch, I'm going to do this section of the recipe here. I'm going to start with this low pass filter. I need a low pass filter at 24 dB. I'm going to ignore the 12 dB settings. We're only going to go off of 24 dB when we program these recipes. So I need a 24 dB low pass filter with a cutoff of 40 hertz. Starting at 40 hertz, resonance of zero. I need the envelope to affect that 90% with these time and percentage values. So what I'm going to do is come over here into analog. I'm going to click on the filter section. I would activate it by clicking this button here. And now that filter is on, I will use this pull down menu to specify that I want a 24 dB filter. And I want that filter to start at 40 hertz. So I will come over here, grab this large knob, use my arrow key to go down to close to 40. All right, 40 it is. And then I need a resonance of 0%, and it's already at 0. That's the default. If I wanted to change that, I could just grab it and drag it. But it's at 0. That's great. And now I need the envelope to be affected 90%. Now, in my tutorial, I go into a lengthy discussion of how to determine what this means. This is a special number. It has a special significance. It's kind of complicated. So you're going to have to read the tutorial to get the full explanation. I'm not going to repeat that explanation here in this video. All I'm going to do is show you where I need to input the amount that correlates to this into analog, how to program that. And I do that by going over to here. Again, in our filter tab, making sure that's highlighted and clicked, I'm going to go down here to frequency modulation. And I'm going to specify that the envelope needs to be modulated by a factor of 8. Now, why 8 corresponds to 90% is complicated. Again, read the tutorial and I can explain that. Because if you want to program other patches in the Fred Welsh book, these numbers are going to be different and they're all going to have different meanings. And to understand them and to know what numbers you need to put into parameters like this in the filter envelope, uh, depth amount, you're going to have to understand the principles that I laid out in the tutorial. So good luck with that. And lastly, to finish this low pass filter setting uh, section with the envelopes, we need to input these time and percentage values for the envelope itself. So zero seconds for the attack, 3.29 seconds for the decay, 78%, etc. The way I'm going to do that is to go into here, again on the filter tab, and here is the section for our envelope times. Here's the attack. Attack, the recipe wants it at zero seconds. Analog doesn't go down to zero seconds. It only goes down to five milliseconds, but that's close enough. If I wanted to increase it or decrease it, I could drag or type in the value I want. But five milliseconds is as close to zero seconds as I'm getting. The decay in this recipe calls for 3.29 seconds, so I'm going to come over here to my decay. I'll use my arrow keys to get to as close to 3.29 as possible. i actually type it in. There we go, 3.29 seconds. Our sustain values right here, it goes from 0 to 1, so that correlates from 0 to 100%, and I want 78, so I will drag it to 78. Sustain time, we ignore that. In fact, of course, if you've noticed, we're ignoring a lot of stuff, a lot of uh, parameters here, but we're going to ignore that. And our release time, right now it's set to 5 milliseconds, and this patch calls for a maximum release time. So I'm just going to drag that up very quickly to 15 seconds, which is our maximum release time. All right, we've just now programmed the filter section for this patch, and we're going to finish it up with the amplifier section. The amplifier calls for this envelope with these times. So I'll come over here, click on my amplitude tab for my oscillator, and I want 0 0.06 seconds, which is 60 milliseconds. So you can see it's in a millisecond value here. So I'll just go 0 0.06. 
There we go. 60 milliseconds. And then I want the maximum decay time. So I'm going to come and grab it and drag it. 15 seconds. I want a sustain level on my amplifier at 100%. So I'm going to grab it right here. You see it looks very much like the filter on below time settings. And then I want a release of 0.3 seconds. So it's going to be 300 milliseconds. Oops. Let me do this. There we go. 300, close enough, 301. All right, so now we have just finished programming all of this. And the hardest part, if you read the tutorial, is figuring this filter section out, this envelope amount uh, percentage. So go ahead and read that. Let me know what you think. If I wrote it and it's confusing, please let me know and give me suggestions. And now, finally, the moment we've all been waiting for, what does this cello sound like? It sounds like this. And it doesn't sound anything like a cello, does it? No, it doesn't. Isn't that wonderful? We went through all that trouble to build this patch so it'll sound like a cello, and it really doesn't actually sound like a cello. Uh, but... Maybe it sounds like a cello a little bit, but in a very cheesy 1990s digital synthesizer way. But that's okay, you know, we don't build these, or at least I don't build these, to sound like the original. Um, some of them actually do get kind of close, but most of them are very far off. But I don't care, I just build this to learn about synthesis more, and when I want to make techno, I'm not going to use the sound of this cello anyways. I'm going to run it through delays and choruses and all kinds of funky distortions and effects and automate them, and that's what makes that cool electronic music sound, not this, you know, cheesy rep representation of a cello. If I want a real cello, I'll find a cello player and record them. I'm not probably going to use a synth. But the point of this tutorial was to learn about analog, and it was to learn how to use analog to program these very specific values. And we did that today, and I hope you got something out of it. Thank you so much for watching. Again, please feel free to email me suggestions, uh, complaints, whatever, if I can make this tutorial better. And I hope you got something out of it. Thank you very much. Take care.